is a math degree actually worth it? So you could actually rephrase that as, you know, is any degree worth it? But let's talk specifically about math. So if you get a math degree, you're going to have a four-year degree, you know, and you're going to have more job options. But you could say the same for any degree, you know, by getting any college degree, you are going to have, you know, more options in your life. Now, I think there's a lot of like negativity uh, towards, you know, college degrees nowadays, specifically because of money, right? There's always this, this thing that people say, oh yeah, you know, you go to college and, you know, you take on a lot of debt and then you spend the rest of your life paying back that debt and then you can't get a job. I mean, it does happen, right? It, that does happen. But why focus on those negative examples, right? Try to focus on the positive ones. If you go online and you look at some popular job website and you look at jobs, there are tons of jobs that require just a four-year degree. And they'll say stuff like four-year degree in math, computer science, engineering. They'll give a bunch of things and they'll want experience and they'll want maybe references and they'll want some skills, both required and recommended skills. And really, you know, the breaking point, what keeps people from getting those jobs is the experience. So, you know, you have to figure out some way to manage that. And, you know, if I had all the answers, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't have all the answers, but I do know that it is better to have a college degree than not have a college degree. I mean, there are people who go out there and they make their own business or they get some job in sales and they make tons of money and they are super successful and they don't have college degrees, right? You can find examples of anything you want in life. You know, you can go on the internet and do enough searching for topic X, Y, Z, and you'll find an example of that. If you search hard enough, you will find an example of a person who never went to college and became a millionaire. You will find an example of a person who went to college and had a terrible life and never got a job and was in debt forever and died, right? You'll, you'll find those examples. But that's not how life works, right? All you know is now you have an option. You can, you can go to college or you, or you can not go to college. And I think going to college in general is a better choice. At least in the US, there are lots of options. I don't know how it works in other countries, but in the US, uh, if you are under 24, you have to include your parents' income for financial aid. But once you're over 24, uh, you are independent in the eyes of you know, the government. And so typically at that point, uh, you know, if you don't make a lot of money, you can get some assistance uh, for college. And if you're under 24, it really depends on your parents' income. One, one tough situation people have with, with going to college in the US is they're under 24, they're 18 or 19, they just graduated from high school, right? And they wanna go to college, but their parents won't help them and they can't get financial aid because they make too much money based on their parents' income. So what do you do? The answer is, I don't know, right? You get a job part-time, you take one class at a time, you do the best you can, right? That's all you can do in life is do the best you can. But don't let, don't let you know, the naysayers get you down, those people who say stuff like, oh, it's not worth it, you're gonna rack up debt. It's better to go to college than not go to college. Again, you can find examples of people who have not gone to college and have done great things, right? And you can find examples of people who have gone to college and have not done anything. But in general, going to college really opens up the door. So don't let, don't let the negativity get you down, right? So it really is worth it. And math specifically is a great choice because you learn a lot of really cool stuff. You get to do math, right? And you get a four-year degree in the process. You can get all kinds of jobs too. You know, with a math degree, with a four-year degree, you can definitely teach high school. That's something you can definitely do, right, for sure. And then if you wanna get another type of job, having other skills is, is usually helpful, right? I mean, I know a person who um, got a master's in math, this is a master's, but they could have done it with the bachelor's, and they work at a bank, and they have a great job, they're happy, they love their life, so that's an example of something you could do. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.